I, I would uh, like to ask you, uh, Special Agent, Agent uh, for Selly, some of the specific uh, statements in your, in your testimony to try to get a better understanding of what evidence is necessary in order to get a conviction in these cases. And if I understand this correctly, there is no federal statute that specifically prohibits straw purchases. Is that correct? No, ma'am. There, there is a statute, but the statute doesn't carry significant jail time. You, you arrest the people who are we, the bottom feeders, the lower people in an organization, and then you proffer them. You gather information. You utilize uh, waivers of speedy presentment where you have somebody go do a delivery in the street to catch the next guy in the, in the chain, have the, the, the straw buyer perhaps deliver the firearms to the trafficker and then arrest the trafficker. Um, we didn't have those tools available to us in, in Arizona because the United States Attorney's Office wouldn't allow us to utilize waivers of speedy presentment before a magistrate. Proffers almost never happened. The basic investigative techniques that I used with great success in Southern District of New York, Eastern District of New York, and elsewhere uh, weren't being deployed in the District of Arizona. The Justice uh, Department. If the, if the gentlelady will suspend, I want to caution the witnesses that the scope of this, your, your testimony here, is limited and that is not about proposed legislation and the like, and under our House rules would not fall within the scope of this. So well, anecdotally, you can have opinions, but ultimately it would not be considered valid testimony. It's my understanding of the rules is that you can, you can object to the question, but you can't tell the witness what to testify to. Well, reclaiming under my time, I, I appreciate the Chairman's statement, and I appreciate your statement earlier when you said you wanted full answers and full prosecution. And I think it's certainly within the scope of this hearing to understand why we're not getting a full prosecution. The gentlelady's questions and whether or not the gentleman believes that law enforcement was doing its job or that the courts were properly enforcing and whether that may have led to actions is fully within the scope. Anything that these individuals witnessed in or around Fast and Furious is certainly within the scope. I only caution we are not here to talk about proposed gun legislation It would be outside the scope of this hearing. I want to know why they are declining them. And, and to quote uh, from the, the testimony, some, one of you said because they believe it is difficult to obtain convictions on these violations and because they believe it is difficult to obtain paperwork from Mexico. And, and my question is, are these valid excuses not to bring these cases? I think that is a valid question. If you go after the mid-level and upper-level members of a cartel, you need to start uh, unless you have evidence on them immediately mm -hmm. with the, the people at the bottom of the food chain. Um, okay. when, when straw buyer cases are dismissed because of excuses made up by the United States Attorney's Office, uh, as opposed to when you have factual evidence that shows that person's committed a crime, then you can't prosecute that, that bottom feeder to move up to the next level.